Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. How are you? Let's see who else, who else, who else. Who's around, who's around? Melba, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you, Melba? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? Mm, happy, teacher. Happy. That's great, that's great. Excellent, excellent. Es que las preguntas ya me están saliendo bien y me he quebrado la cabeza. That's normal, that's normal. Es que, teacher, siempre he sido bien práctica y he terminado mi plataforma rápido y ahí en esta, el problema mío es ordenar. Yeah, that's normal. There's always one exercise that is difficult for us. Siempre hay un ejercicio que se nos hace difícil. But don't worry, I mean, that happens. That happens, so be calm. Tranquilo, okay? And how was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Um, um, a good day? Yes. Or a heavy day? Mm -hmm. yes. Heavy. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, well. That happens again. I mean, every other day is like that. Ah, casi siempre así, no? We got heavy days at work. We got a lot of stuff to do. Siempre hay cosas por hacer. But the good thing is that you're here. Lo bueno es que está por acá. Welcome to the class. Bienvenida. Let's see, Carlos Luis, hello. Perhaps it's not available. Saul, not available. Isabel, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Miss? Quite thanks. How was your day? How was your day? Relax. Oh, really? Yes. Why? Por qué? Cuéntame. Um. No, no. Uh, no estuvo muy, muy lleno. It oh, really? was very crowded. Mm, it wasn't crowded. 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 Okay, well, that's nice, right? When you have a, like a... A soft day once in a while. Ay, a vez en cuando cae bien un día así, ¿no? Sí. Excellent, excellent. Also glad that you are here. Qué bueno que anda por aquí. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Hoy se escucha algo baja su voz. Let me check. Cos, cos, cos. Let me see. No, my microphone is the same as usual. Está igual. Entonces es mi celular quizá. Mm. Yeah, because the microphone is as usual. The same volume. Or perhaps I was talking low. That happens. Welcome to the class, Isabel. Nice having you here. Bienvenida. Thank you, teacher. 
thanks to you. Marta, hello, Marta, how are you? Marta Diaz, oh, listening. Miguel, good evening. How are you, mister? Good evening, teacher. How are great you, Miguel? teacher? Great, great teacher. Great, great, happy. <laughs> That's cool. I like to hear that. Qué bueno escuchar eso. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, okay. So, you had a good day, I imagine. Uh, Pai day me, me 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 dieron una noticia que ahí se la voy a contar ahí cuando nos reunamos. Okay, okay. Well, so glad that you are having good news. Qué bueno que tenga buenas noticias. That's always good. Yes, teacher. So, well, ready for the class, right? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Aida. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? I'm fine, teacher. How was your day? I had a good day, teacher. Working. Oh, really? Yes. What about the gym? Yes. <laughs> I'm ruining for the class. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, how how much time did you spend at the gym? Um uh, it this day in the hours teacher or the time, the training the hours. Hours. One uh, hour, two hours. Uh, two hours, uh, this day. Oh, really? That's a lot. Yeah. Okay, well, the good thing is that you are home, you are energized, so ready for the class, right? Yes, teacher. Ready. Excellent, excellent. Welcome to the class, Aida. Nice having you here. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Berenice, hello, how are you? Good evening, I'm fine. Okay, how was your day? Um, not, not really bad, but I, I need to go. Oh, tuve que hacer una vuelta al fondo. Okay, okay. I have to run some errands. Okay, I have to run some errands. Okay. Let me text it for you. I have to so running some errands uh, going downtown it's like complex right yeah 
Okay, well, but the good thing is that you're here, ready for the class. So what yeah. time did you get what time did you get home? Well um twelve. Yeah, twelve. I don't remember. Hmm, that's early. Yeah. Okay, okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, 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 okay. Eh, eh, eh. Gabriela Lisette, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, I'm how fine. are you? How was your I'm day? Fine, teacher. Uh, very good, teacher. Uh, I work in, in the morning. In the right. afternoon, in the house. At home. At home, please. Okay, what time did you get home? I got a job at casa. Um, one p.m. One p.m. Yes. That's okay. Not that late. Not that early. Tan temprano, no tan tarde. No, teacher. Yeah, that's cool. So you could relax, rest a little bit, or relajarse, descansar. Yes. Excellent. So glad to hear it. Qué bueno escucharlo. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. And welcome. Thank you. Rafael, hello, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. What about you, mister? How was your day? A little bit hard with the war. Oh, really? Uh, it's a uh, some difficult day, but I'm here in the class in my home and... Okay, go. And ready for the class. Yes, of course. Excellent, excellent. That's the attitude. That's the attitude. Let's see who else is around here. Veamos quién más anda por aquí. Damaris, hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, How are you? Ah, uh, so so. So so. <laughs> yeah. Why? Ah, uh, tired. You're tired. A uh, heavy day. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Como como digo, mucho yes. trabajo. A lot of work. A lot of work. Okay, well, that happens. What can we do? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer, no? yeah. <laughs> I mean, what can we do? It's just the way it goes. Así nos toca. But yes. the good thing is that you are here, so everything's fine, right? Yes. Okay, welcome to the class, Miss. Thank you. Okay, guys. Uh... I don't know if you remember that the other day I left a, a homework where you were supposed to create some questions, right? ¿Se recuerdan de que les dejé la tarea de que crearan unas questions? And you were supposed to bring them to the class? Mm, 
you forgot. Okay, let's do something because the homework it was very simple. You were supposed to create a couple of questions using can you or could you and bring them to the class. Bring them tomorrow, please, because we're going to use them. We're going to, to, to do an, an exercise, okay? Regarding that. But, uh, let's see. Before we move along, I would like to get the the attendance. Just one second. Well, while the, the, the file is opening, let's see who else has come around. Anna Patricia, hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. You're fine? That's great. Yeah. How's yeah, everything? I'm great. How was your day? My day, very fast. At work. It was good. Yeah. Or was it stressful? I, I couldn't quite catch it. Mita, mita. So, so. 50 <laughs> 50. 50 50. Okay. I can understand that. Yeah. Sometimes it's like that, right? Like we yeah. are, we are like ready. Then we have a, hard part in the day, then we have an easy part of the day, but I mean, that's the nature of the job, right? La naturaleza yeah. de los trabajos. Good thing is that you are here, ready for the class. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Oh, thanks to you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm sorry, guys. My computer is giving me little issues right now, but let me check. We have another way to do it. Aida Eugenia Ramirez Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you. Alma Shamilet Hernández de Vázquez. Present teacher. Ana Leslie Sánchez Grande. Ana Patricia Meléndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present teacher. Carlos Luis Guzmán Yelamo. Present teacher, present, good night, good evening. Good evening. Damaris Lisset Guevara Herrera. Present teacher. Elias Alberto Cortés Alas. Evelyn Yajaira Martínez Rivera. Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano. Gabriela Chanet Pozo Peña. Gabriela Lisset Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. José Valentín Flores Rodríguez. Juan José Cornejo Urias. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. 
Marina Leticia Rolín Jiménez. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Marta Berenice Cervello Miranda. Present. Marta Esther Achala Díaz. Present teacher. Melba Lorena Martínez Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Miguel Ángel Rodríguez García. Present teacher. Oscar Edgardo Guidos Burgos. Rafael Antonio Chica Samaya. Está uh -huh. Carolina Morán de Cabrera. Sandra Karina Galvez Galdámez. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Señor teacher. Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. So, well, let's do one exercise, guys, so we can like warm up. In the manual, in page number 28, we have this exercise. What is the exercise about? Read the description and write down the correct demonstrative pronoun. We have these, that, these, and those. Okay. We have to write it in the blanks according to the instruction that is here. Talking about a, a purse in your hand. Okay. We are talking about one singular. Where is it in your hand? So, which one are we going to use? These, that, these, or those? Which one should we use? ¿Cuál usaríamos, guys? Remember that we use these when we refer to something. When we use these, is we are talking about something that is uh, in my hand. This cell phone. Okay, it's in my hand. We use that when it's over there, singular. Over there, singular. Cuando está lejos, solo es uno. That. When it's in my hand, singular. This. When in my hand, plural. Cuando lo tengo en la mano, plural, more than one, más de uno. These. When far away, plural, those. Okay? That's very simple. That's something that you know. Ya es algo que conocemos. So, in the exercise, what you are going to do is to read the, the idea is in the parentheses, with a pillow of reports in your hand. Talking about a purse in your hand, and you're going to decide which of these is the correct one for each situation, okay? So that's what we are going to do. It's very, very simple. So I'm going to uh, create groups. I'm going to send you to the groups, and you're going to work there telling me which is the correct one. 
Let me just send the screenshot. Let him be on a screenshot. So you can have it. Perfect. Now I'm going to create rooms. Groups are created. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, groups are open, hurry up. See, we need to get uh, 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 um, Carlos Luis. Reports um, are very heavy. This también. Plural. Ah, sí, no reports. Es un reports. Reports. Mm -hmm. El siguiente I have to wear need to finish our comfortable shoes and boots. En cadena, así que de Yes. This, I was busy hiding the whole time. 
es un espacio que se convierte en la catedral. Sí, ok, correct. Number two. Uh, 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 me quedé con las preguntas. Me quedé con las preguntas. Number three, mm -hmm. I have to wear those two protections, the bro. Uh, um, number three. And number five. Number, you have to switch number three for number five. Yes, yes. Now it's better. Okay. Okay, guys, easy exercise, right? I know, I know it was an easy exercise, I'm sure.
Okay, let's see, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. How does it go? Where am I coming about? Okay, well, in number one, we were supposed to look at the information, talking about a purse in your hand. So, let's see. How could you buy something like? What's the answer? How could you buy something like this? Like this. Why? Because it's in your hand. Okay? It's in your hand. Okay. okay, let's go to number two. Reports are very heavy with a pile of reports on your lap. Yes. Okay. Remember, they are on your lap and su regazo. So, in this case, we got this. Number three. I have to wear... Do it during a long walk. Which one is it? Okay, guys. That in this case, ah, uh, los lleva puestos. Es mientras va caminando. This. Okay. Can you bring me pointing at a cup on a far desk? In this case, it's that. Can you bring me that cup I left in Anna's desk? Okay. And look at this one. Are Mr. Pineda's children about a picture hanging on the wall? This. Oh, la picture está on the wall. Está colgando en la pared. Those. Number six. In picture, you see my wife and daughter about a picture hanging on the wall. Same situation. In this case, the correct one is that. You see? In that picture, you see my wife and daughter. Questions? Okay, perfect. So let's move along. Continuamos. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now, we are going to work a little bit with the pass of B. 
A ver, vamos a hacer una pequeña explicación gramatical. Ok, guys. Uh, for this topic, for this short explanation, I'm going to be like uh, explaining, explaining to you, but I'll try to do it like... Uh, like uh, I'll be switching between English and Spanish because I want everything to be clear, okay? Quiero que quede claro. You have seen already simple past, right? Ya hemos visto el pasado simple, ¿no? You know it, right? Okay, perfect. So this is going to be like a kind of re a review. Easy. Don't worry, it's going to be easy. I promise. Let me show it to you. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, here we go. The pass of B. It was a great experience. The agent was very helpful. Look, you were on your page. We were excited about service. Do you have any question about those sentences? No? Okay, let's see. If you notice, we have here the paso B. El paso del cero estar. It was a great experience. The agent was very helpful. You were on our page. We were excited about service. Look at the simple past for the rest of the verbs. I gave my accounts information. He called yesterday at night. The program worked well. They bought that product last week. When we talk about simple past, it's very important for us to remember that there are regular and irregular verbs, okay? Do you remember the regular verbs in simple past? When we talk about regular verbs, those are the ones that in order to make their pass, we just need to add ed. Los verbos regulares son aquellos que para formar su pasado solamente agregamos ed. Simple. The other verbs, the irregular verbs, are the ones that in order to form their past, they have their own form. Son aquellos que para formar su pasado tienen su forma propia, ¿no? Any questions up there? No? Okay, let's see. Let me see. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. Give me just one second. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's just that this computer is giving me problems right now, and uh, it's a problem for me to switch in the middle of the class. Pardon, que tengo un lío con the computer. 
I have something prepared for you, but I cannot get it. Okay, well, let's do it the other way. Okay, let's make a short review about simple paths. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso. Okay, when we talk about simple paths, okay, we have to remember that we got two different things. We got the verb be, right? We have the verb be, and then we have the rest of the verb. With the verb be, you know that we got two different forms. They are was, and we got where, right? That's with the verb be. You got was, and you got where. When do we use was, when do we use where? Oh, very simple. You know that if you are saying, If you are using the pronoun I, he, she, it, you know that in this situation, you are going to use was, simple, right? So that means that you, we say I was, it was, he was, or she was. But then we have where. Oopsie, I'm sorry. It was I, it was he, it was she, there was it. Okay? So, but then we have where. You know that if you're talking about you, if you're talking about we, if you're talking about they, in these situations, we use where. That's with the verb be. Quite simple, quite easy, right? So, you were, we were, they were. Simple. Now, when we have the rest of the verbs, you know that we have something that we call regular verbs in the case of the regular verbs is very simple why oh because what we do is that we add ed at the end of the verb. How so? Oh, very simple. We've got play, played. We've got dance, dancing. We've got work, work. Okay, we also have irregular verbs. Which one are those? Oh,
when we have the irregular verbs, we know that in that case of them, we have a different structure, okay? What do we mean by a different structure? Okay. Well, uh, uh, we have examples, very simple examples. You know that we got go becomes went, right? We got uh, come. It becomes came. Another irregular verbs that you can remember? Tell drink. Drink. Drunk. Perfect. Drink. You got drank. Simple, right? In this case, we have talked about affirmative form. Okay. Now, what about the structures? Okay. Perfect. The structure for the affirmative form with the verb be, it changes just a little bit. You see the structure. We got a subject plus verb. Of course, the verb is in past, right? plus complement. What's that? I was in class. Simple, that's affirmative. Look, I was in class. What about when we have negative form? Okay, for the negative form, very simple. You got the subject plus the verb plus not plus complement. So you got here I was not in class. Whoopsie. Sorry, guys. I don't know what happened here, but let's see. We were here. I was not in class. Simple. That's. the negative form. What about for the interrogative form? The interrogative form, again, very simple. The only thing we do is switch the subject with the verb, okay? So we start with the verb plus the subject plus the complement plus the question mark. And that becomes was I in class? As simple as that. Now, what about the rest of the verbs? Okay. What about the rest of the verbs? Is there a difference? Yes, there is. There is one difference. What's the difference? Okay. This rule applies for everything with the exception of verb B. Verb B has got their own rules. Okay. Now, for the rest of the verbs. Okay. For the affirmative sentence, 
you know that we have again of course we always have a subject plus here comes another figure the auxiliary what's the auxiliary in this case well the auxiliary in this case is did i'm sorry uh, 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 my bad subject plus verb uh, in past plus complement it's affirmative so let's say uh i play i played soccer or she played soccer simple you see she played soccer subject verb in past complement that was the affirmative but then when we have the negative it changes a little bit mm -hmm. why because for the negative we use the auxiliary in this case we have the subject plus the auxiliary the auxiliary in this case is sorry did plus not plus complement so the same sentence ah okay let's see the subject she the auxiliary did not oh we are missing here something no falto algo where's the verb plus the verb now the verb in this case goes in the base form okay el verbo va en su forma base infinitive for us to understand it simple in present okay look she did not play soccer so we have here the complete structure quite simple let's check it out does it fulfill the structure we have the subject we have the auxiliary did we have not look at the verb there's no ed as it was here okay if you notice in the affirmative because it was a regular verb we had the ed you see that was in the affirmative but in the negative we have the auxiliary and the auxiliary takes by itself the neg the fact that the sentence is in past then we go to the interrogative for the interrogative is exactly the same we use an auxiliary now for the interrogative if you look with the verb b we started with the verb right in this case we start with the auxiliary you see auxiliary plus what comes next que viene a continuación okay the subject plus the verb now the verb base form plus complement plus question mark that's the structure okay in this case for this particular situation look did she play soccer and then we have the question so 
This is the structuring. Very, very simple. Is there any question, guys? I am sure this was just a review for you. But if you have any question, now's the time. Remember, whenever I say base form, I'm talking about the verb in present. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you want the screenshot of that? Quieren una captura de eso? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, give me a second. Give me just one second that I'm trying to send this to you. I'll try to adapt it to the screen. Let's see. Okay, guys, I send it to you already. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Give me just one second. Questions. Is there any question? I send it to you already, guys. Ya les envié. Is there any question about that topic, that explanation? Is it clear? It was just a review, right? Solo fue un repaso. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. If you have any doubt, let me know. Si surge alguna duda, me avisa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Now, we're going to work with the manual, okay? We go back to the manual because the explanation was for us to, to, to get like ready to understand what we are supposed to do in the manual, okay? Let's see. Uh, oh, Freddy, hello, welcome. Hello, teacher. Okay, okay. Hi, Freddy, everything's okay? Ready? Yeah. To, ready to practice? Uh, no, not not ready, teacher. I'm just uh, arriving home. Okay, okay. That's not a problem, okay? I'm sorry, sorry. No problem, no problem. But so glad that you're here. Okay, guys, what are you going to do? You have to write the sentences with the words provided using the past or be or simple past. Here you got the pass of B. So what are we going to do? Very, very simple. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Look, what we are going to do is this. Make the sentence. I, I got what interesting problem. I was interested. Oops. 
interested product mm. perhaps we can make it better in that product for example you see simple right and that's what you're going to do look at the verb and make it into past all the sentences are affirmative so it's gonna be piece of cake for you you're gonna be working in the groups you're gonna be doing the exercise it's gonna be very simple so let me check let me check let me check okay groups are open i'm gonna send you the screenshot so you can have it okay wow Alma. Hello, Alma. Let me get you to a group, Alma. Let's see, having problems with the connection, guys.
Bye. And this the seller to buy. Where are you by Dayton in December? She was with the police. With the police. 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 Ah, she really I was in there. Do where? Do where? Uh huh. Do where? En ese, en el primero no se ocupa ese B que está, no. Eso no entendí. Hay que poner en pasado. No, no, no. Es que abajo, en la parte inferior, sale va, las palabras. Ese B, ah, no, el de abajo, que está abajo del lugar. Ese. Este, tenemos que hacer la, la, la frase. La frase sería. I am interested in this product. I am interested in this product. Puede ser una frase. Entonces, para ah, o sea, que pasado, solo está. I was, oh, bueno. I was because it's in past. Yes, I was I interested was in that product, in this product. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Si lo tenemos ahí en la mano, o that si lo tenemos retirado. Aunque uh -huh. la frase debería ser that. I want to see the product. Uh -huh. The second sería to buy. Uh -huh. to buy. Uh -huh. to buy. Uh -huh. Okay. 
sentence in different forms and ever but it's bad I'm just waiting for everybody to be back. Okay, everybody's here. Let me do it. Here we go. In the first one, let's see. We decided that we were going by I was was interested product. In the product, it's one way you can say in this product, in that product. Okay, look at the next one. Yes, the next one will be you bought the item in December. Okay. You bought the item in December. The third one. Okay, the very real. This is a very interesting verb. Why? Because if you notice, you write it the same. She read the policy. Now, sure, in the yeah. case of the verb read, read it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. In the case of the verb read, you have to remember that 
what changes is the pronunciation, okay? Read in present, read in past, read in past participle. So it's written the same, what you change only is the pronunciation, okay? The supervisor gave me a discount. This sentence is already in past. If you notice, this one is, was the same, okay? The supervisor gave me a discount. Here you were going to change nothing. The next one, the verb send, again, irregular verb. So you go. They, oops, sorry. They sent, look. They sent the contract to my email. And now what's it? Number six. He, the pass of the verb be, when we are talking about him, if you remember from the little box that we created that I shared with you, was, he was, disappointed. So the sentences are like this. I was interested in the product. You bought the item in December. She read the policies. The supervisor gave me a discount. They sent the contract to my email. He was disappointed. And that's it. Quite simple. Questions? Is there any question? No? Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, now. Next exercise. Conversation exercise. I'm going to give you three questions. The first one, what is privacy? What is privacy? The second one, how do you maintain your privacy at home? The third one, how do you maintain your privacy on the internet? Those three questions you're going to discuss in the breakout rooms. And then we're gonna come back here and we're going to talk about it, okay? Groups are open, guys. Jump in.
Entonces, ¿cómo lo haces? ¿Cuál es el trigo así? Um, I don't have a trigo así. In my home, all, uh, all things are for the all family. For the family. Hola. Hola, hola. Pati. Hola, hola. Hola. Vaya, entonces, ¿qué va a poner usted en la primera?
sabe lo que, lo que pasamos con Espinel. Sí, me imagino porque sí, eso creo que es lo mejor. Sí. Yo hubiera querido salir cabal, pero yo bien hubiera terminado, pero me tuve que cambiar de lugar. Entonces ya me quedaba lejos. Ya tuve que salir. Y ya con el niño y todo. Pero nunca es tarde. Ánimos. Teacher. Ahora la última me falta. Okay, guys. Don't speak Spanish. Okay, teacher. Okay. Sorry. Mejor no hablo, dice Miguel. <laughs> no, no, no. You gotta try. You gotta try. Okay. How did you make the video for what she got from home? Bien, ahí estamos. Gabriela y Anel, Isabel. I closed the windows, I closed the times and on the internet and sharing the case, sharing the case to Wi-Fi, sharing the case to the cell. So quiet guys come on let's share the info i'll be back
Okay, let's see, let's see. Aida, what is privacy in your opinion? Um, okay, teacher. Uh, the most important um, because um, is sometimes that no one can be late. Okay. Interesting. Yes. How do you maintain your privacy on the internet, Aida? Um, changing the case and the Wi-Fi to the cell phone and the case personality. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you what about you, Oscar? What is privacy for you? And uh, the privacy to me is um, a reserved place, teacher, uh, with uh, like my car is a place, uh, is the only place and I have the privacy. Okay, perfect. And tell me, how do you keep your your privacy on the internet? Uh, the internet don't have privacy because the everything we do goes to the cloud. And uh, um, okay, even even you. Uh, uh, take a, a kiss don't have a privacy okay perfect don't have privacy don't have privacy perfect perfect Okay. And I give you the yes, I give you the apologize teacher because I arrived to class uh, late. I arrived late at class. Oh no problem, no problem, no problem. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Miguel, what about you? What is privacy in your case, in your opinion? Uh, I, I privacy is uh, being discreet. Being discreet, okay, perfect. And how do you keep your privacy on the internet? Uh, in my house, privacy is internet living everything on the look. Okay. Excellent, thank you. Now let's see, let's see. Berenice, okay, teacher. what about you? Berenice, Miranda. Okay, perhaps she's having a problem. Isabel Rivas. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, hi. Hi, tell me, what is privacy in your opinion? Um, privacy 
on our cell phone is important when we some personal information about, about our social networks, certain things we don't want to publish. On. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect, thank you. So in your opinion, is it possible to keep privacy on the internet? Yes. Um sí, es importante. Excuse me, teacher. What I'm asking you is, do you think it is possible to keep privacy on the internet? In your opinion, is it possible for people to keep privacy? ¿Es posible que las personas tengan privacidad on the internet? Yes. Okay. How do you do it? ¿Cómo se puede hacer? Um, poniendo contraseñas. Okay. Using passwords. Using password. Okay, what else? De qué otra manera? Mm. Or do you think with that it's enough? Yeah. O piensa que con ello es suficiente. Uh, no, porque siempre nos pueden hackear, pero poniendo contraseñas difíciles o, ah. o al menos yo, o al menos yo uh, sí trasteo mi celular y, y tengo activadas bastantes cosas como para localizar mi celular o, o detectar si alguien me está okay, hackeando okay. algo. I have activated options. Repeat with me. I have activated options. I have activated options. Okay, perfect, perfect. Excellent. Give me one second, guys. Just one second, guys. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Okay. I got a question for you guys. A very interesting question. Aida, tell me. What's the most dangerous place in your house? Place. The most dangerous part of your house. No, teacher, no. No place dangerous. Ah, oh, play or place? Place. Oh. <laughs> what about the kitchen? Okay, see. The, the kitchen, the cook, uh, because the, the gas, 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 <laughs> and the, the provide um, the, and the 
turn off the fósforo. What? El, digamos, tener cuidado con el, el fósforo. Oh, the Para matches. No tirarlo the, en, matches. the matches and the, the gas. So meaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand you. Yeah, we have mm. to be careful, right? Now, what about for kids? Is you using niños? No, it's pro prohibit um, forbidden. Forbidden. Um, what? What my son? <laughs> eh, eh, permit. <laughs> Eh, que se acerque <laughs> yet close in the place okay yeah it's forbidden for them to get close yes that's okay thank you thank you too oscar tell me in your house what's the most dangerous place or what's the most dangerous thing for kids uh, in my house, uh, the stairs uh, uh, that be outside of my house, uh, because I live in the building, uh, when I come to my house, I stand up, no, I... Subir. Subir. It depends. Subir. It depends okay. de, de la, okay. las gradas. Okay, go up the stairs. Uh, go up the stairs. And it's, the, it's a risk. Yeah, well, yeah. Whatever there is a stairs, there's a risk. And for little kiddos, always, right? And... Uh, all persons too. Okay, yeah, also for not for all persons, for the elderly. Uh, excuse me? For the elderly. Elderly. Yes. Oh, elderly. thank you. Thank you. I don't know what is uh, how say? Uh, uh huh. Okay, elderly. 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 Anciano. Is the only place uh, dangerous? Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, because I mean, for little kids, uh, we have to be careful. Yes. Okay, thank you. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Freddy, are you ready? <laughs> Elderly. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Mm, Ana Patricia. Hello. Tell me. In your house, what's the most dangerous place or situation that a kid can encounter? The dangerous. Maybe. Yeah. What do you think that is the that is a danger there in the house for little kiddos? The factor behind the house because it is near um what do you say Batanco? Oh really? Yeah. It's, uh, 
it's a near relativamente cerca ok por eso podría ser peligroso ok yeah we have to be careful with that yeah Well, thank you very much. Thank you, too. Okay, give me just one second, guys, because I need to get the final attendance. Time's over. Wow, time runs. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Aida Eugenia Ramírez Chávez. Present teacher. Alma Chamilet Hernández de Vázquez. Ana Leslie Sánchez Grande. Ana Patricia Meléndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present teacher. Carlos Luis Guzmán Yelam. Damaris Lisset Guevara Herrera. Present teacher. Elías Alberto Cortés Alas. Evelyn Yajaira Martínez Rivera. Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano. Gabriel Pozo Peña. Present teacher. Gabriela Lisset Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. José Valentín Flores Rodríguez. Juan José Cornejo Urias. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. Marina Leticia Rolín Jiménez. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Marta Berenice Cervellón Miranda. Marta Estera Chala Díaz. Present teacher. Melba Lorena Martínez Martínez. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Rodríguez García. Present teacher. Oscar Edgardo Guidos Burgos. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Chica Samaya. Present. Sally Carolina Morán de Cabrera. Sandra Karina Galvez Galdames. Raúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Well, guys, thank you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Be early. Don't forget the questions because we're going to use them, okay? We're gonna okay. Have a conversation. Yeah. It's going to be yeah. good. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.